Hallo? Good afternoon, how can I help you? Please can I speak to Mr. Kaldo for a call? Well, who should I say is calling? I'm the same top man calling from London. Okay, Anderson? Anderson? Tub? Man? Okay, I'll tell him you're calling. Can you hold on? Yes, sir. Wait a Okay, hold on. You know what, he's sleeping. Uh, do you want me to wake him up? Please, please, you can wake him up because I find him and he's not very difficult for me to call. Wake him up. Tell him and that's a bad man. He will understand. Okay. All right. Hold on. <coughs> Hello? My little brick hung up. Yeah, you hung up. So he went back to bed. Hold on, let me go get him again, okay? Hold on, don't hang up. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, man, it's the Anderson guy. He's back. Alright, alright, let me just finish brushing my teeth. I'll be right there. Okay. He's coming! Okay. Are you the guy that made my son go all the way to Europe? Hello? That's what, I call to discuss with, that's what I call to discuss with him. Are you the father? Yeah, you know, he, he had a bad time there. It was no fun at all. And he I'm brought back hardly sorry. any pictures. I'm very, very sorry because of that. Uh, it wasn't really my fault. That is why I called him and want us to uh, issue our I am not the best way to follow up because uh, I have a project that I want him to do for me because of my ear health. I cannot be able to do anything. That is why I'm calling him because he asked me to call him. Okay. Well, if it's all right with you, I think I'm going to listen in on the conversation. That way I can be in on it. I'll get on the other line. Or let me get the other phone, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, can you hear me on this line? Yes, I can. Okay, hear you. good, alright, then you can. I'm gonna continue then with that. Hold on. Alright, I got it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Hawkins. Yeah, I'm gonna be listening in on this if that's okay. Yeah, sure, that's, a, that's fine, you, Dad. Hawkins? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, this is Anderson? Okay, good. Yes, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Um, please uh, continue. What, what is it that you wanted to say? Yes, actually, you know, you asked me to uh, call you, and it's very, very difficult for me to make this call, but I had to do it because you wanted me to call you. So I do not know the reason you asked me to call you because uh, from my last email, I told you. <laughs> Excuse me. I told you. I told you exactly uh, uh, what the situation was, and uh, you said I should call you. Right. What are you, what are you thinking? Okay, well, uh, what I'm thinking is, you read my last email, assuming that you, you just didn't turn away at hand. Um, I, I had certain conditions for um, whether or not I would, uh, you know, continue to, to uh, help you. And, um, listen, uh, it, it, uh, I, I don't want to go to Spain. And if they want to get off their lazy butts, they can come over to me. Now, if they do that, if they come here to, to Illinois, okay, and meet with me, if they come to the, the St. Louis airport, I'll pay them back the money that they have to spend to fly down here. Are you getting this? Yes, okay. I already you wrote, you wrote all those conditions in the mail you sent to me, but uh, I don't think uh, it's a workable condition because, uh, you know, because of the trip you went to uh, Madrid, uh, you, you already have an issue with uh, Mr. Uh, what is his name again, Philip Q. So even if anything is going to happen on this particular uh, 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 handover, you cannot use Mr. Philip Q again because 
that Lepew does not want to uh, do anything with you again. He is very, very upset. Uh, oh, he, he's upset? I was the one who was fucking robbed. I was robbed. I mean, you know, he thinks like... Well, he wasn't robbed, that's why, you know, and, and, but he's upset, huh? What, he had the... He, he, was he even in Madrid? Was he even in... Have you ever met Philip Q? Have you ever met Philip Q in real life? I haven't met him. How would I met him? Why would I meet him before now? Is it not because of this opportunity that I got to know about him? How would I? I don't met. I've not met him before, and I don't know him before. Well, you know, what? I didn't meet him what either. I want to tell you. Because listen, Mr. Philip Q is another party in this uh, business. My business is with you, and all I'm trying to do is to find a way of getting this money across to you. Because of my promise to God, it's not as if uh, that my life is dependent on this money. If this thing pulls through or it doesn't pull through, if God wants to call me home, he will call me home. If he wants to save my life, he will save my life. But this is something I've just taken a decision and I vowed to God to do. That is why I'm trying to use every means available to make it work. But the problem is that between you and myself, we do not have the, that confidence and that full trust. That is the problem we're having. If it's about Mr. Philip too, there can always be a way to solve him, the whole thing. Because Mr. Philip too is not the only one that can uh, do this uh, for us. As it is now, even if we're going to do anything again, you will not have anything to do with Mr. Philip too. But Mr. Philip too is already skeptical about the whole thing, and he would not want to involve the cooperation that we need. So I do not know, I'll start to make a more consultation. If there's a way out, I'll get back to you. But for now, I don't have any headway at all. I must be honest to you, there is no headway at the moment. But I'll still make consultation. If it works out good, if it doesn't work out, I'll leave it to God. But all I want you to know is that if, if I'm committing this force into your hand, I need your cooperation and understanding. Sometimes it might not be exactly the way you want it, but I'll try everything I can to protect your interests, just as you are protecting my interests also. But in the course of doing this thing, you must be able to shift ground if you really want it to work. But if you stick on what you want and insist on what you want only, if what you want is not a benefit, but that means this thing cannot work out. And I want it to work out. That's why I have called you, just as you have said in your mail, that I should call you. Okay, can I step in here for a moment? Yeah, sure, Dad. What is it you want to say? Well, I wanted to say that, uh, wh where is, uh, this Anderson Tubman person, I... Well, he's sick in the hospital, Dad. There he is? Well, uh, which hospital is he in? Well, that, okay, that's a good, that's a valid question. Uh, and Mr. Tubman, wh what hospital are you in right now? I'm in a London hospital where they take care of cancer patients. It's a private hospital here in London. It's a private hospital? Yes. And what's the name of the hospital? The name is Hogan Medical Center. Hogan Mental, Cent Mental Center. Hogan. Okay, and what room are you in? You don't keep it rooms. It's a private hospital. It's owned by a, 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 what is it called? a professor in the treatment of cancer. That's why I'm taking my treatment. Right, okay, so it's a Hogan Medical Center. Which room number? Yes. It should be, do I accept? I don't know if they're not, they should be around, I uh, see room 05, room 05. 05? 05. Five, five. You have that, you, are, are you doubting my uh, situation or what? No, I think, in, uh, you know what, listen, I think. Listen, 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 Mr. Hoko, this is the actual problem we are having, but if you want to work with me, that means you have to trust me. Well, you know, you know why don't you trust me, sir? Okay, why don't you trust me, okay? I tell you what, if... You know what I think you should do, sir? You know how you have the, um, the, the opening code? Why don't you give the opening code to, uh, York? Uh, Mr. York, uh, Christopher how, York. How can I give the opening code to Mr. York? Yes, give how? him the opening code. He can take out his listen, precious bribe and his give, money. I give it to... Listen, if I give it to uh, Mr. York, that means I can as well entrust the whole force in his care. I cannot give it to him. If you want to do it, it's okay. If you don't want to do it, I'll make alternative arrangements. But nobody can put me under pressure to give it to York because I have not gotten any any confusion within me that York can be able to handle this for me. Handle this for you? I've done. I've bent over backwards to help your.